All right, welcome back to the Burgundian Conquest Achieve a campaign where, as Burgundy, you have to own the Low Countries as cores, and you have to have France and Austria as subjects. So, <clears throat> as usual, I don't know shit of what happened in the last session. <clears throat> All I know is that I'm pretty sure I'm not becoming Emperor ever again, which is very unfortunate. Because I put all my fucking stuff like themes a bit too loud on my end. Might even be too loud for the video, I don't know though. <sighs> so yeah, it's a fucking mess. <laughs> uh, whatever. But let's get back into things. So, I've lost Reconquest against Tuscany for some reason. Oh yes, I remember now. At the end of the last session, I killed... Well, I didn't kill Tuscany, but I regained Genoa's cores... And I took nice from them, which is pretty nice. It's, it's pretty fucking nice. All right, so I'm doing administrative ideas currently. So yeah, I'll get some extra fucking innovativeness. Why the hell not? I don't care. <laughs> All right, so printing press the next institution to spawn, and that's actually spawning next year. So I can actually spawn it, funnily enough. But I highly doubt I will. It's got to be probably someone, uh, one of the Germans, as it usually is. Although I think I've seen the printing press spawn in the New World once before. That was kind of fucking weird. <laughs> Alright, but I have uh, plus two tolerance of heretics, which is rather nice. Which means, um, yeah, less problems. <laughs> uh, who spawned it? Who's the prick who needs to get murdered? Lubeck, eh? Alright, I'll have to murder that prick later. Right. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to end up murdering all of Germany just to vassalize Austria. Let's be honest here. Uh... Let's see. Okay, I can embrace the counter-reformation. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I come back to this, it's just like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> and it's just really goddamn horrible. Um, especially now, because, uh, uh, just last night, I was continuing playing my, um, World Conquest campaign, and my god, I am at the point where I'm just constantly at war, and I don't like it. <laughs> Being at war constantly just, ugh, it's horrible, I hate it. <laughs> but, eh, whatever. Oh yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm also combining that World Conquest with a One Faith, so... Yeah, it's not... not great. <laughs> so I constantly have to deal with fucking rebels, and it's fucking horrible. <laughs> uh. So, okay, what the hell am I doing? That is the question. So I'm pretty in relation with Genoa and Multifront. Uh... Can I annex these little shits? No. I can annex them in 1556. Okay. Um, <clears throat> any claims I got, aside from on France and the Pope, because I would rather not have to deal with being excommunicated again. Also, I can't even attack the Pope anyways, because France is allied to the Pope. Okay. Um, I can go attack Friesland. Do I care about attacking Friesland? I mean, yes, because I do need their land, but... Can I is the better question. Like, will the Coalition let me? Not really, but I might just do it anyways, to be honest. Also, there was the fuck-up um, last episode, or last session, I mean, where I <laughs> fucking uh, fucked up the PC with Ook Treats. That was wonderful. Now I have this little shit just existing in my goddamn borders. <laughs> it was bloody wonderful. Also, my truce with my vassals just went away. That's whatever. Alright, so my army is down here doing fuck all, of course. Because that's just what I do. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so weird. <laughs> I can't have multiple armies. It's fucking weird. Goddamn. Do we not even have... Okay, we're about to get level 4 forts. So that's interesting. Bit of a pain in the ass, but, you know, whatever. Uh... So yeah, I can only really attack into Germany, which sucks. Because I'm not the Pope. 
Uh, Spain is the Pope currently. Um, Alright, Spain likes me. That's good. Uh, the Pope is 57 years old, so that's fine. I have a 20% chance of becoming the next Papal Controller. Let's just, uh, I'll just bump that up a little bit. There we go. One in four chance of becoming the next Papal Controller. Hopefully, uh, the Pope will die and I become the Papal Controller. That'd be great. Oh, wow. I'm not even done coring shit. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I guess I am now, but still. Now then. I only have 16% of the trade power in Genoa, so it's probably... Wait, also my main trade city is in um, the English Channel, I think about it, which is just better, so... <laughs> well, eh, better is a bit of an understatement, because the fucking English are beating me up in there, bastards. What a bunch of assholes, man. Yeah, I really should have cucked France a bit earlier on stealing Normandy, but I don't even know when they took it back. I can't remember shit. <laughs> Oh, man. I, I should probably, like, record this series, like, twice a week. And fucking... <laughs> that way I don't forget, <laughs> like, what the hell I was doing. Oh, man. 200 ducats for one innovativeness and one prestige for the next 10 years. Or I can get a church and nice. I will take that innovativeness, thank you very much. And the prestige is nice as well. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, Prestige is nice. It's it's almost like I've, I have another uh, campaign that I'm playing just for fun, where I was excommunicated and owning Rome, and I was an Italian deciding to stay in the Empire just for the fuck, like, just for the hell of it. <laughs> so I had zero, I had, like, negative Prestige, like, 100% of the time. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was completely god-awful is what it actually was, but my general died. That's unfortunate. Catholic Zealots? That's good. That's real good. I just wish I could become the fucking Emperor. <laughs> you fucking pricks. Goddamn. Yeah, no, I've got good fucking Diplo reputation, but... I don't fucking know. The game just doesn't want me to be the Emperor or something. Which I don't blame it. I, 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 I would be destroying the Empire right now if I was the Emperor. <laughs> But, yeah, it's whatever, you know? It's fucking whatever. Diplomat. Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, that's a dick move game. Ethiop. Right, I, fuck. <laughs> it's, it's just fucking whiplash, man. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just trying to, like, just slowly be like, yeah, I kind of know what's going on, but I have no fucking clue what's going on. <laughs> Uh, do I just get the Morale of Armies guy? He's a bit expensive. I can kind of afford level 2 advisors, but level 3s are a bit... Eh, not great. Now yeah, I'll get a level 2, but not level 3. Those are a bit too expensive for the time being. Alright, so Friesland. You have a ton of stupid allies, and I want to murder you. So, I'm gonna call in my big stupid allies. And, yeah, let's just get this shit done. But, but apparently, though, I still have a, uh, a general, so that's good. Alright. Just calling all my allies. Just to, actually, I do not want to call in Cologne because Cologne's a greedy whore. Alright. We're not calling in Cologne, just Brandenburg and France. That's simple enough. And let's murder their army that's doing some training. Oh, they're dead. Feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Actually, does this general have any siege pips? No, he doesn't. That's fine with me then. Now the question is, do I even bother trying to take like full annexation? I don't think I do. I think if I try to take full annexation, I'm gonna get fucked. Brandenburg wishes to vote for me though. That's interesting. Good of you, Brandenburg. You're a loyal subject. I just wish that, um... Oh my, what the hell? Vernon is kicking ass! Jesus, man. Alright then. Yeah, Vernon's just over there kicking some ass. Also, did I... No, I haven't moved over to having a pure mercenary army yet. <clears throat> I can totally afford it. 
Especially with all the bonuses I have to mercenaries with like my basic ideas and the administrative ideas. And also, I could get even less merc mercenary maintenance if I wanted to. Do I though? I kind of need the one Diplo relation for the time being, so I won't do that, but I don't need the Diplo relation, I'll gladly just switch it out. Oh shit, Cleves is right here. In fact, who's what? Is Cleves or Friesland a thing? No. There's only 25 princes in the Empire. In fact, at this point, what I should probably do is just ally all the princes, attack the Emperor, and destroy the Empire. That's what I should do. Alright. In fact, okay, so who am I allied with? Brandenburg, Cologne. Okay, so I'm allied to two of the seven electors. Well, two of the six electors. Because Saxony is an elector, and they're also the Emperor, so... How many electors is Saxony allied with? Bohemia... Uh, Mines, Ansbach. I don't think Ansbach is a thing. Uh, Ma oh, Magdeburg? Are they allied to Magdeburg? Yes, they are. So, Magdeburg, Bohemia, Ansbach, and Mines. So, Bohemia, Mines, and Magdeburg. So, if I ally the Platinates, which I don't think I can do, unfortunately. Yeah, the Platinate hates me too much to be able to ally them. That fucking sucks. Uh, I call Cologne into the war. Yeah, if I could just ally Cologne, like, the problem is, though, they're allied to, like, fucking bitch-ass Austria and bitch-ass... And I'm allied to their <laughs> rival bitch-ass Cologne. Oh, man, that's annoying. Um, truce with Sweden? Denmark? Cool. I'm just gonna let my allies do all the work, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's that simple, really. Um, and yeah, I have claims and all of that, so I can take whatever the hell I want, so... Let's see. East Frisia is the most important province because it has the estuary, so I want that. That's not that bad of a coalition so far, but it's <laughs> gonna get fucking far fucking worse. <laughs> the next most important would probably, I guess, just be uh, these two. Yep, that's about what I expect, to be honest. Yep, pretty fucking bad. I take one province and the entire world wishes to kill me. That sounds about right. Yeah, I'll take those two provinces, because this coalition isn't that bad. It's only, like, ten countries. And I'm allied to three great powers. <laughs> you know what? I'm allied to three great powers. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, that's poking a bear right there. Um, Austria is the only country in there that has, like, really a lot of power behind them. But, of course, like, 30 countries or however many is in there. I don't feel like counting it. But 30 is a reasonable estimate, probably. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I should also wait for the monthly tick because Ravensburg will instantly leave the coalition. At least they should do. How many are they losing each month? Ravensburg. Ravensburg is losing. Yeah, they'll, they'll instantly leave the coalition if um, I do uh, peace deal right as December is about to end. So hey, these guys aren't going to exist anymore. So I might as well just take their money. Wait, why am I not demanding full annexation? What else does Friz Frizia have? No, that's not what I want. Um, or not Frizia, Friesland. I don't have anything else. Why does it not say that I'm demanding full annexation? Hmm. 30 strange how it doesn't say full annexation in the, like, summary here but whatever doesn't really matter because I'm fairly certain that I am fully annexing them have I converted a country before yes I have so I don't <laughs> I'm not gonna spend like 1% of my uh, shit well actually it's not that bad you know it's fucking <laughs> it's basically just five prestige for one fucking war score it's like sounds pretty good to me no freeze and still exists somewhere no, they 100% they exist somewhere. Where the fuck are they, then? What? Friesland doesn't have anything else, though. Where the fuck are they? I feel like I'm going mad. Like, what the fuck? Excuse me. What the fuck? They don't have anything else. <laughs> Where the hell are they? <laughs> this is madness, I say. Is there, like, some way that I can see, like, an overview of what provinces they have? Like, 
go to country, like... Like, that's really weird. Like, what fucking provinces do they have other than, like, those four? Also, apparently I can make colonies even though I don't have exploration. <laughs> okay, cool. Um... I don't think there's anything in the ledger that I'm looking for. I think I've just... Have I found a bug? Like, Friesland exists somewhere else. Like, they have a... They, they've done something. <laughs> have they taken exploration ideas? Yes, they have. That's probably what it is, then. They've probably explored slightly farther than I can actually see. And, like, got a charter company or something like that. Well... Does their existence matter at that point, then? Not really. Um, yeah, not really. Uh, if they're going to be like some random African OPM at this point, I really don't give a shit about that, so... Yeah, I'll just take this piece over. I don't see a problem with it. Uh, I don't care. Alright, do the peace deal. Ravensburg is... Uh, oh, fuck. I've got no admin points. Probably because I'm doing an admin idea group. That would make sense, yes. That makes reasonable amounts of sense. Alright, so. Now, the only province in the Low Countries region I'm missing is... Yeah, just Uktrik here. And when I get Uktrik, then all I gotta do is vassalize France and Austria. <laughs> Which is easier said than done, especially because the game just does not want to give me the French dynasty. Or vice versa. Like, goddamn. Like, if I could just give France my dynasty, I would be so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Muscovy wants to attack Denmark and Sweden. Now's not really a great time for that. Um. Yeah, now is really not a great time for that, because I've got a coalition on my ass. But I can't really say no, because if I say no to Muscovy's attack, then I lose the alliance. So, I, yeah, not in a position to say no, unfortunately. Again, as usual with these Muscovy Wars, hopefully, um, I don't gotta do anything. That'd be great. <laughs> Especially because there's a scary amount of people trying to murder me right now. Austria included, who is... Is Austria a great power? No. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow, I'm the third greatest great power. How the fuck did I manage that? Like, I've got, like, some squirrely fucking borders here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm somehow the fucking um, third greatest power. Like, get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> Although it is nice now that I now that I'm in like a actually developed area of the world, because in my world conquest campaign, <laughs> like, oh fuck you, game. That's just rude. Like, I don't even need to like see like the fucking outcome of the event to know what this is. Get out of here, fucking punk ass bitch. <laughs> Anyway, so in my world conquest, fucking every manufacturer I could build at this point is like fucking like 0 .06 ducats, like 0 .08, like <laughs> just fucking nothing amounts of money. Like it's just horrible. But I want to build them anyways because I've got nothing else to do with my money. <laughs> uh, but, well, I guess I can build up my trade companies, I guess. But yeah, expanding into fucking Asia, man, it's just, it fucking sucks, man. Asia's a worthless shithole. Um, also Africa. Well, Africa at least has charter companies throughout a good chunk of it, so eh, it's not too bad. But Asia is just a worthless shithole. <laughs> like, you gotta get, like, all the way to fucking India before Asia's even worth anything, and then somewhat in China, but no, Asia's just a shithole. <laughs> it's just expanded to fucking Europe more. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, then. All right, so I should probably... In fact, yeah, I, I'm going to make a mercenary-only army. That way I can just ignore my manpower. Because that just sounds pretty good. So, yeah, how much money do I have? I've got 23 ducats a month. Although I am spending a shit ton of gold on missionary maintenance. So that's, that's a fun one. All right, I get more gold from the burgers. I might as well do it. Yoink. Yoink. And I'll make the clergy happy, screw it, just for their bonuses are nice. Very, very nice bonuses. Screw you, Pope. I'm the Pope. <laughs> At least I should be. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 
Let us see here. So I have a combat width of 27. So let's build 27 mercs. Yeah, just say screw manpower at this point. It's simpler. Woo! All the mercs in the world, basically. Oh, <laughs> I built the force limit. <laughs> oops. Uh, oops. Oh well. Whatever, it's fine. I'm probably never gonna build the force limit anyways. <laughs> you know, it's one of those campaigns. Uh, and yeah, I'm still making good money. Love ducks about nothing bad. Could be better, but meh. Yeah. Alright, let's see. So yeah, this place already has a marketplace. It's good. Yeah, none of these places need marketplaces. Um all right, they're all good. I'm trying to beat out England. England's a punk ass bitch. <laughs> oh, good. It's a bit late for that, but it's good. <laughs> uh, ah, I hate these damn events. All right, so. Ah, oh, yes, yes. The nobles are pissy because I. Decided to do stuff with the burgers instead. Blah, blah, blah. You bastards. Although I am somehow doing better in England than the English Channel right now. Let's take it East Frizz- or, yeah, East Frizzy are really all I need to do. Like, shit. <laughs> so simple. What? Oh, right, I'm at war. <laughs> uh, I have such a massive disconnect whenever <laughs> an ally calls me into war. It's beautiful. All right, I got another place I could convert. Actually, do I really even need to convert this shit? I mean, yeah, I do, but do I really need to? In fact, no, honestly, I'm not going to. <laughs> like, I, I'm so used to my fucking World Conquest campaign where I have to convert everything. <laughs> oh, man. That's just not all my World Conquest campaign, but then again, it gives me something to talk about whenever there's, like, little boring segments like this where nothing's fucking happening. All right, well, that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you next time.